In doubles, when both you and your partner are at the net, you often want to stagger your positioning. So what I mean by that is let's say the ball is right here on this side of the court, then the player that's closer to the ball should also be closer to the net, and the player that is cross court from the ball should be further from the net, but also closer to the middle. The reasoning behind this is that you're creating a wall with these two net players, so there's no huge gap in the middle because both players can intercept that ball if it gets hit through the middle. And you're also covering the lob well, so if the ball gets hit over the close net player's head, this player on the right can come back at a diagonal and intercept that shot. This net player that's close is in an offensive volley position, so they're looking to intercept a lot of shots that are coming through this middle area. And then the player at the back is in more of a defensive position, but if they recognize that it's not a lob and the ball's hit to them, they wanna move forward to try to improve their net positioning for that shot. Now, once the direction of the ball is changed, the net players also need to shift their positioning. So let's say the ball gets hit to this side. Now the player on the right needs to move up and towards the ball, and the player on the left needs to move back and towards the middle. So they're also following the ball, but now we have the stagger going the other direction. So if this player lobs over this player's head, the deeper net player can go back at a diagonal and intercept that. A mistake that I see players make is often this player is too far over, right? They center themselves in the box rather than pinching the middle, and this leaves a big hole in the middle of the court for the opponent to hit to. Whereas if we're positioned like this, with the deeper net player pinching near the middle, we're making the opponent hit a very difficult shot to pass. And if this net player is proactive and a good mover, they can still cut this ball off before it goes past them because they have more time. It's a longer distance to hit a diagonal shot than it is to hit it right through the middle. Now let's say your opponents aren't good at lobbing or they don't know how to lob, then we can adjust this positioning when the ball's on the right, both players can be pretty close to the net. Still, the player on the left is close to the center, but notice that they're both close to the net now, so there's no staggering there because they don't have to worry about the lob. If the other team lobs a lot and you're getting burned, then you want to adjust your positioning in the opposite direction. So the ball's again on the right. This player might only come to here. And this player's here in the middle, so both are in a good position to defend the lob rather than being closer to the net where you get burned by the lob. This positioning is also based on your athletic ability. So if you can move back quick for an overhead, you can stand closer to the net because it's gonna be harder for the other team to hit a difficult shot to you versus if you're not as fast of a mover, then I advise standing a little bit further from the net so that you can cover more shots.